everyone, Jordan here with another MJRL Hobby Stuff video. Today we're doing something very, very different. Uh, I wanted to do a, a... Anybody that's ever worked with chrome paint knows full well that it's finicky. And it's not the easiest thing to do. So I've got two varieties of <coughs> chrome here. This is the Molotol, Molotol liquid chrome paint pen. It's got a little ball in there. And then this is the Montana, oh, this is the chrome, Montana brand acrylic chrome. And what I've got here is, this is the, the method, Mr. Surfacer 1500, followed by black, um, shiny black, SH black, followed by the chrome. So we're going to go out and uh, spray the spoons, give the spoons a spray as well as color the spoons. And we'll see how it goes. Chrome battle, big it! All right, so we're gonna start with the Molotol liquid chrome. Um, it's a fresh, brand new pen. So let's just crack this guy open. Ta-da! Okay, and then it's already been shaken pretty well. Crack it open. Now here's the, the pump. So it's got this pump action, and then you're supposed to start it like on some paper, give it a few pumps until it starts to flow. There it comes, and you can see it coming out. There we go. And once it's, there we go, all right. And then generally the Molotov, you don't use any primer, you just go straight onto the plastic. They say work in circles. No, I'm not really good at this yet. And this is my first time ever using this stuff. So let's see how it goes. Oof, streaky, but actually not bad. Going on much smoother than I thought. Woo! Kind of alcohol smelly. Oof. I must be drunk. <laughs> Let's try some straight lines. Whoops. I say if you go over it too much, over the same spot too much, it gets kind of weird. Yeah. Not, not bad though. Going on pretty nice. Look at that mirror finish on that guy. That is pretty crazy. It's a little, a little bumpy, I guess, because I just not that good at it yet. But ah, oh, that is crazy. I can see my fat. Look, you can see my face in the spoon. This is nuts. Anyway, um, I wonder how far I can go before I need to re really repump. They say you're supposed to move kind of fast, but not too fast. So this is the, how, how much paint can I get without a pump? That's kind of a lot actually, huh? Look at that, that was no pump, just keep on going. I wonder if it just keeps on pulling until because of like a, what do you call that? It's like a siphon effect. Is that the right word, Ryan? Mm. Wow, look at that. Whoa, that is crazy. And super easy. So if you're looking to chrome some even big parts with fairly good results, without any anything, just straight onto the plastic, pretty cool option. everybody so I've already hit these two spoons with this Mr. Finishing Surfer Surfer 1500 gray um, it's already dry no problem okay so we're gonna go over here to the Montana shiny black it's 
been uh, warming up in this warm water for a bit. Give it a good shake. Now, if you don't know about Montana brand, they come with this tape on top. And then you have to pull the, the nozzle off and remove the rubber stopper that's in there. See that? Okay, then you can spray it. Okay, here we go. This is the SH Black, which is shiny. I believe it's shiny. We'll find out. <laughs> oh, it looks pretty shiny. I don't know if it's just because it's wet. All right, here we go. This is the chrome on the shiny black. It's not super shiny, but I mean, it's okay. Anyway, let's put it. some strong smelling stuff um, we'll let that cure and see how that looks it's nowhere near the reflectiveness of the molotov that's for sure but um, yeah maybe it fit cures it'll come out there all right so clear winner here is the molotov pen paint uh, versus the spray um, chrome from Montana um, I'm gonna hit both of these right now with some clear coat just so we can see what it looks like after the clear coat goes on hold on this is the Krylon triple thick crystal clear glaze Let's see how it goes oh I don't know if you guys can see that but that gets really reflective when that Triple clear coat goes on. It's still just gray though. It turns just turns gray. Alright, let's try the, the Molotov Chrome. Whoa! So that totally kills the chrome effect. Totally kills it. It just turns straight gray. That side still got the chrome, just straight chrome. That side's got the clear coat on it, so not a good combo. Molotov and clear glaze, bad idea. You will lose your effect. All right, I hope this, um, this was education. All right, just for the sake of thoroughness, this is what it looks like cured. The Molotov with the clear glaze on there it does get a little bit of its shine back and I'm out in the Sun so you can see how shiny it gets but this is the straight Molotov no clear glaze clear glaze side no clear glaze All right next is that shiny black I also hit it with the clear glaze and it gets pretty shiny actually um, but that's just because the glaze is shiny. This is the cured uh, Montana chrome with the clear glaze on it. A little reflective, but again, that's partially because of the clear glaze. And here's the Montana. Here's the Montana with nothing, just straight Montana chrome. All right, I hope you guys like that. And if I, I hope you find it educational. This is Jordan. Leave a like, a comment, a subscribe, and a share. See you.